never forget to clean the machine. Other people gotta get on after you. And it's not fair for them to get on a nasty, sweaty machine. All because you chose to be lazy. Nobody wants to get sick and not be able to come to the gym. So clean off your shit. As you guys can tell today, I'm layered up. Maximum sweat. Hoodie on, sweatpants on. All of this will come off once we start doing the actual workout or I get too hot. <laughs> we'll see which one comes first. Do two minutes, walking backwards, get the quads warmed up. Two minutes walking forward. And then we'll slow it down, focus on the calves and the hammies. All right, so this right here is kind of how you want to walk on the stairs if you can engage your legs and walk on the stairs without using your hands is the best form of cardio to do because you take out any assistance that you're possibly giving your body right so he hands hanging onto the rails or you leaning over the rails right you take away the assistance of all that and now your legs have to do the bulk of the work yo yo what's up everybody it's your boy black hulk and thank you guys for tuning in to another pool day basically my leg and back session today i'm starting off with some seated leg curls as you can see my hands are touching my hamstrings just a little bit so i can feel the muscle as it's engaging when i bring my legs down and curl and then i do slow and controlled movements coming up because i like to get that mind and muscle connectivity throughout all my workouts i usually train legs at the beginning of my back workouts just because I like to get it out of the way, but you can do this either way. You can do back first or you can do legs first. It's your choice. All right, guys, so up next, we have the stiff leg deadlift. This is one of my favorite exercises for the lower back and the hamstring muscle. I enjoy this exercise because I really feel like I engage the hamstrings when I'm coming down. The setup that I have here right now with the 45 pound plates underneath the bar is to lessen the amount of energy that i use bringing the bar up from the ground to the starting position and it also helps me not go so low and use so much of my back to come up so this way i engage more of the quads and the hamstrings on the way up i keep my knees about shorter width apart i realize that i'm a little bow leg <laughs> so you know sometimes my knees will buckle in but other than that this is perfect form for me i'll give you guys a back view here in a second all right, so as you can see here from the back view, everything's engaged, calves are engaged, hamstrings are engaged, quads are engaged. You kind of want to keep your feet planted, almost like you're driving into the ground when you come up and go back. Squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings as you're coming up and then keep that core tight as you're going down. You don't want to round it back. You want to flat back with a little bit of an angle and that'll keep you from getting any injuries in the future. All right, guys, and I also want to add that you don't want to go any further than your hamstrings will allow you to go. If your hamstrings will allow you to go further, go further. As you can tell here, I'm stopping a little bit before my hamstrings give. Don't go too far because you don't want to risk any type of potential hamstring injury. All right. All right, so going right into the next exercise, this is my second favorite after body weight pull ups. This is the D handle lat pull down machine. This thing is great for hitting your lower and upper back. I enjoy this, this machine a lot because it allows me to really get that mind and muscle connectivity when I'm pulling down. I feel my lats engaging as I'm pulling back. I can also feel my shoulders hit a little bit on this machine. So this is one of my favorites. I use this in every single one of my workout videos. If you haven't seen it, you don't know what it is, you don't have one in your gym, talk to management and get you one of these in your gym. All right, up next is one of my favorite workouts for back. If not, my favorite exercise period in the gym is the body weight pull up. If you want a bigger back, 
you can't avoid doing bodyweight pull-ups this is the key this is the king to a big and wider back do them all right so immediately following the bodyweight pull-ups i go straight to the chest supported t-bar roll this is great for that thickness in your back for developing the lats very very good exercise here you want slow and controlled motion here follow the tempo i usually go three two one for my tempo one second hold two seconds coming up three seconds on the way down depending on how heavy the weight is all right so this following exercise is probably every guy that goes to the gym favorite exercise and body part to train is the bicep curl the preacher curl I'm not really a fan of training biceps. I'd much rather train my back because I already have big arms. But for those of you that don't know what this machine is, it's very good. It helps train and work out the peak, giving you that bigger look when you flex your biceps. As you can tell in my right arm here, I have a nice little peak going. You want to do very controlled on this, strict form, following the tempo. Great exercise to do for the biceps. All right, so this exercise here is the hammer curls. This is the, if I must do biceps, I will train doing hammer curls. It's one of my favorite ones to do for the bicep. It trains the long head of the bicep. Gives you that nice thickness in your arm that you see on my arms here. Really enjoy doing this workout. At the end of everything I've done today, this is actually extremely painful for me to do. You can't see it in my face because I have a very good poker face, but this one hurts. Thank mm -hmm. you.